That was a sad deal because that could have been a, a really. It, 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 uh, yeah, they could have. I was, I had, I was with, I had a company called Gospel Music Company in the mm -hmm. late sixties, early seventies, and that was when all that was going on yeah. strong. And uh, we were, they were sort of indirectly one of our clients, but uh, that was just uh, one part. People get going the wrong direction. Okay, now let's say both of you are in the view. I got, I'll have her, uh, you know, more straight on. Yeah, so, so she's not really turning that much. She'll be turning the me a little bit, but you know, because uh, I'm, I don't mind, because I'm gonna be looking at her after I come off camera. I'll be looking this way, and that's not a big deal for me to be looking that way because it is about. Or do you want to be on the camera at all, or just? No, I'm gonna be on the camera, okay. but it'll be a side view rather than. Okay, let me get right here a little bit for this way here. Uh, Why wow, I don't need it at the side of my ear. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you did Check shave. Check you cleaned your ears. You did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> close up. Well, I'll get close. I didn't. I didn't bring. Uh, uh, I guess I did have a microphone, but I think they're quiet enough now that it won't be a problem. I want to get in here where we had a little uh, audible isolation okay so it's running y'all just do what you want to do and then we can edit stuff out and whatever whatever you want to do okay it. so i'm going to go ahead and kick this off hello everybody this is rick rawson with dr janae butler today we are going to hear from her about her involvement in murphy the murphy chamber and her soon upcoming election how are you doing today janae? i'm doing well thank you thanks for having me well, you know, we did a video last week, and it was like a whirlwind of wind out there. So we're going to do a little <laughs> indoor uh, discussion here so that okay. we can hear a little bit more about you without the wind whistling by. <laughs> Sounds good. So again, tell us a little bit about how long you've been in Murphy again. I've been in Murphy for 10 years with my family. Okay. Yes. And you are running for re-election. You yes. are currently... I am currently the Deputy Mayor Pro Tem for the Murphy City Council. I actually am in place six, and I'm also the Director at Large for the Murphy Chamber of Commerce. And you've been very, very involved. You were just uh, here at the Murphy Chamber. You were just telling about how you got involved and how originally it started from PTA. Yes, so I originally started with volunteering with the PTA, um, eventually went on to be a board member, um, actually got Volunteer of the Month there. And um, from there, just community events in my um, subdivision. So I would do a glow-in-the-dark Easter egg hunt for just the neighborhood kids, just for fun. Um, and then I was also on the social committee for my HOA. And then from there, um, went on to be on a city board, Parks and Recreation, and then decided to run for city council in 2019. But you also mentioned about that you took on this project of a uh, nearby park, I believe it was? Yes. So while I was on Parks and Recreation, we started the renovations for um, Waters Edge Park, which is in my subdivision. And um, we wanted to make it more inclusive for all kids, um, put in some handicapped parking spaces. Um, so I started that project on Parks and Recreation. And then when I was elected to council, I was able to approve those designs, be there for the groundbreaking and for the ground um, the grand opening of the park. Now you, in the Murphy Chamber here, you just did a presentation and I'll tell you what, you have a list of accomplishments and qualifications. <laughs> uh, maybe you can do a short summary of just sort of some of your qualifications. Okay, um, well professionally I'm a nurse practitioner, um, doctorally prepared. Um, I have a bachelor in nursing, master in nursing, um, an MBA, a doctorate, and a post-master certificate in nursing education. So in other words, you're pretty smart. Yeah, uh, I've been a career student there for a while. <laughs> well, here's the point. Bottom line is, uh, young, aggressive, knowledgeable, Murphy is, is growing. Right. And it needs those energetic, mm -hmm. enthusiastic people to take it to the next level. Right. And I believe that that's where you come in. 
Yes, that is where I come in. Since I moved here in 2012, Murphy has grown. Um, when I originally moved out here, I lived in Wiley. There was nothing out here, no Walmart, no Target, um, not a lot of the dining that you see in shops that you see in Mar my Murphy Marketplace. So what we, well, what I have witnessed and what I wanted to see when I got on council was a more growth in our economic development. And I think that we've achieved that since I've been on council. Um, we're making Murphy a place that businesses want to come and um, set up shop and a place where you know residents and people from other communities want to come in and shop and eat here. And that's a very, very good point because it's one thing to have people that come up with ideas and you're right. an idea person, but there's more to it. The right. bottom line is, hey, I'm an idea person, but I'm going to go ahead and walk the walk, right. not just talk the talk. Yes. And so you're involved with PTA, the projects and everything else and your background and knowledge Ideally, you are the right person. You know, I am. And not to toot my own horn, but I am. I feel like if you want to um, run for city council, that's great, but you need to have involvement in the community. You need to know how the city works. You need to be able to network and, con and um, connect with people. They need to be able to trust you. Um, everybody here knows that they can, well, if they don't know now, they will know, um, that you can always reach me on Facebook, email me via the city, call me if you know a friend of mine, because I have people reach out and say, hey, I have a friend that has an issue, will you help them? And I always do my best to try and help um, anyone that I can. So I think that's my superhero power, um, is that my ability to just get out there and work with the community. Or they can even maybe even meet you one-on-one -on -one here at the Murphy Chamber. That's right. Well, with that being said, I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and letting us know a little bit about you. Well, thank you. And uh, thank you. Everybody, have a great day, a great week, and don't forget, voting is coming up. Well, good. Well, good yeah. Yes. Unless you want to do anything else, was that good? I think that's good. Yeah, well, but... You could always cover point on your credentials and your position and you know what you are now, what you're running for. I mean, it sounds good to me. I'm, I'm I have a rock eyebrow, so I don't know what you're going to do about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should have got your I shoes. always have. I just can't. It, it just does it. I can't even do the other one. <laughs> this one is always up, so I don't know. You know, that was one of the things when, uh, you know, that's the old uh, uh, Star Trek, you know, the, Mm -hmm. You know, and so my kids, <laughs> uh, my kids, they, way when they were little, they said, how do you do that? So now they all can do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you do the other eye? No. Yeah. It's just, and I can't even do it. Oh, it's wait, I do the one. I'm not going to try to embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how long have you been on the council? Uh, three years. So you, uh, um, and your mayor pro tem now, right? Yes, mayor pro tem. Is that something that cycles between the different? Uh, you know, we members? actually it does not. That is um, something that I think should cycle. Um, I don't want to be deputy mayor pro tem forever <clears throat> because I feel like it's important for everyone to get that experience. Um, and I mean, you know. If you're sitting on council, you're, you're helping your community either way it goes. So the title doesn't really matter yeah. so much other than just what you're doing in the community. And that's what this was about. Mm -hmm. In other words, we wanted to give a little uh, snippet. You can't make this too long because it's going right. to be, we're, I, I want to be able to get this as one video and then I'm going to add this video onto the other video yeah. you just saw at the beginning. Yeah. And so then that'll be, it. so you know, that's why I mentioned about the wind and everything. So yeah. people know to expect the wind in the other one. You know, it goes like 35 mile an hour winds out there when yeah, we're out there. That, if it's blowing like that, we won't be able to do the drone stuff Saturday. If it's yeah. about 20, yeah, 30 now, so. I'm it was pretty there. windy. It was very windy. And we went on the back sides of the building and we were, I'm, I was behind the, the, the back of her, her car trying to cut down the wind, but. You were yeah. maybe yeah, a little too far just... away from me on that. Well, windscreens would help, you know, if you got a low rear mic or something. And then, you yeah. know, if you ever seen on the news, on the TV, the, the, like the major networks, these guys would be out in a hurricane with a yeah. wind microphone, but they've got a $20,000 processor running. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. And it so. Takes care of all that. I can do a lot of that, but I don't have quite that good of it. So now, okay, I'm from Saxe, but I think mm -hmm. in Saxe, the, the, the mayor pro tem position, I don't know that. 
rotates through the chambers or where they intend, where by the way. How ours well. works is that um, in the summer, there will be on the agenda, we will have to nominate. So someone so council will have to nominate someone else. I think that's how it yeah. works too. I don't know. I don't know that. that, that. Mm -hmm. And there, uh, now, do you have term limits here? We don't. Don't. Mm -mm. Uh, I think I asked you that before. Yeah, yes. that's where, cause that's a hot agenda. Yeah. I videoed a, a candidate for them. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, about a week ago, and all the candidates were far uh, term limits except one guy running for mayor. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so. <laughs> Want to keep that. Well, you know, it's like our mayor, in fact, uh, he's, he's leaving after this mm -hmm. term. He's been a mayor for 18 years. Wow. He was on council for 11 before that. 29 years he's been mm -hmm. active, very active. Yeah. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. And so if he had term limits, he'd have been gone. True. And in my opinion, that's not good. But then maybe... I don't know. See, see that's part of my, my 30 second commercial today mm -hmm. was based on, okay, where are you at in your stage of your business? Right. Are you in the waning years of it? Mm -hmm. If you are, I, I can't yeah. help you because you do not have the vision, the enthusiasm, right. and the approach to grow. Mm -hmm. Well, I think anybody that's in, in, in this area, Murphy, Saxon, Wire, that's kind of where I, my right. name is. Uh, anybody that's in a position of leadership in those areas has got to be on the ball because mm -hmm. it is growing like, not maybe like Frisco, but almost. Right, I mean, right. And McKinney's on. But this whole area, whatever, you know, and, and you need young talent. Now, Mike's not all that old. And here again, I'm not tooting his own horn. I voted for him. Right. I, I, I'd vote for him if he'd run again. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, sometimes you do need fresh right. ideas. You need, and, and that's what I've been saying a little bit at some of these networking meetings that we're mm -hmm. at. We need young blood. Right. Mm -hmm in these networking meetings. Mm -hmm. We need young blood in the chamber. We need young, we need to connect with people that are in their 30s. You know, don't get me wrong. There's nothing against somebody in their 50s or 60s or 70s. Mm -hmm. But there's a different mindset. Mm -hmm. Many of those people, I'm not gonna say names, they're just, they're basically, I'm not looking to grow my business. I'm yeah. just looking to maintain. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, then yeah, yeah you're not for me. So I'm going to bring you in because um, Andy Franco, we were just talking on Facebook when he was talking about his tennis group that he has, uh -huh. his business. And so I was just like, oh, because he was advertising. Well, that's the gentleman that was here. Yeah. yeah so okay, I was yeah. like, you need to come to the Murphy Chamber, right. you know, and talk about your business. So he's just like, really? You think? Because a lot of people think that it's really big businesses. No, it's, it's not just the opposite. Big, it is. It's so actually like, just the opposite. No, come on. Big businesses do not come no, to chamber. Right, they don't. Ever, ever. So I told him, I said, no, come out, check it out. You know, it's a good way to network. You do a lot of business here in Murphy, so it just makes sense just to be a part of the chamber. And so I have someone else that I was looking to um, renew my CPR card. And I was like, oh, I guess I need to do that. I was on at 10 o'clock at night and it was like CPR near me, Murphy, right here on Hawthorne. Irving um, police, um, or I'm sorry, yeah. firefighter. And I was able to get in the next morning, yesterday, and get my CPR. And so I'm like, you oh, need to come yeah. to, because he's like, I've been meaning to come to a city meeting. I'm like, or right. city council. I'm like, that's fine. <laughs> but I'm like, you need to come to the church, the chamber. It's not that yeah. far from you, five minutes away. Come here. And doesn't cost you anything. That's doesn't kind of cost you a thing to promote that's yourself. Uh, to, to come in here, yeah, to just uh, to mingle. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to be a member and uh, be a presenter down yeah. the road, yeah. yeah. And, or let me rephrase that. If you want to be a member and support mm -hmm. the chamber, let me put it that way instead. Right. And uh, th then, uh, and at the same time, get the, some benefits from it. Mm -hmm. Then that's a little bit different. Right. Well, there's a, just, there, I, I kind of, a, um, this is not my interview, but I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Saxe is where I've been, we've been there 30 years, so I was going to Saxe for years mm -hmm. and years. So in 2016, I was with the president of the historic side, we wanted to have some kind of event. So we thought, hey, let's have this moving wall, the Vietnam Wall come mm -hmm. to town. Well, we got that going and, and uh, I was going around the different chambers and police department and everybody to kind of push you know, that agenda. And after it's over, I had such a good response from Murphy and Wiley, I just mm -hmm. kept going. <laughs> that yeah. was six years ago mm -hmm. and I don't think I missed mm -hmm. two or three meetings. Well, I've been out of town a couple, but I, probably, I haven't probably missed more than five meetings mm -hmm. in six years. Um, and, and I video this here, we put these online. Right. So, but it's just good, and I and I have picked up some business. I met Rick yeah. at one of these. Uh, I met uh, uh, two or three of my clients, mm -hmm. you know, just by being here. And 
one of the ladies out in, in, Mer in Wiley, I was there for probably three years. She came up one day and said, now there's, all, there's, two or three, there's three other people that do kind of what I do, not as long or as much, but uh, she said, you know, I've seen you at almost every meeting mm -hmm. for three years, and let me sit down and talk to you yeah. about doing some social media for It takes time. Yeah, and I, I mean, I'll tell you what, it's, what I'm always against is these businesses that come in mm -hmm. with a stack of business cards, and they come two or three times. And get discouraged yeah. because they don't and, and, well, and then they leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but they, they well. just, I, I just don't like that. Well. well, I think I told Andy, I'm like, you need to get, you know, with the two of you to help promote his business, you know, and get a package together that he can put out. Well, does, now, is, he doesn't. Is he a vendor that works for the city? or does, he, he is doesn't, not. He's not employed he has city, his own... Um, uh, he calls it. What did he, he call has his own business, but he, he does has his own business. But yeah. he works out of the city park. He has an agreement with the city yeah. here yeah. 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 Um, to uh, do tennis lessons over at North Hill Park. Right. And then he also does it in the surrounding cities. Yeah. I think he told me Little Elm, Wiley. Well, I'm going to have to head on out. But did you want to look at? Did you want to get with me on this real quick on yes. the, the list? All right. Well, okay. I thank you all thank so you, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.